we were told that taller builds were dead this year. We were also told they would not be getting lots of attributes like last year. But somehow, I've managed to create a perfect LeBron-esque build that can do everything. It can shoot, posterize people, protect the paint, block shots, and grab rebounds. And you can even break ankles on this monster the captain build in NBA 2K25. All right, all right. I don't want to waste too much of your time. Let's just jump straight into the builder. All right, so obviously LeBron James is a small forward, but the reality is in real life, he usually plays a power forward position a lot you can choose to be small forward or power forward for lebron james it's up to you he's 6'9 in real life but i did not want to go 6'9 because i really wanted to be able to iso lebron james can get the ball on the floor and operate so that's what i wanted to do weight is going to be 227 pounds so that you can get you know decent strength wingspan is going to be 7'4 basically max wingspan long arms are very important in this game there are two things that go for us in this game when you're six eight the first thing being when you when you're tall you cover more ground and with your long arms you get more interceptions and deflections that's why we went with seven four all right so as you can see this is the bill we're gonna start with the finishing all right so finishing is basically decent all right so we got a good 72 close shot uh, in order for us to get float game and hook specialist we also get 70 driving layup so we can get the zion williamson's layup package it's pretty decent honestly and we also get aerial wizard on gold coupled with the 78 vert this is the cap breaker version of this build the reason why i made it this way this is my version is because i'm about to hit starter three so i can get the five cap breakers plus the one of season 40 of this season what that means is for me i have 87 driving done so you see we unlock posterizer on silver but if you actually want there is another version i can show you at the end where you can get 89 driving dunk off rip and i'll show you how you can manage that so for now this is what i got so 87 and then whenever the cap breakers hit i'm gonna get two of my cap breakers here so i can get to 89 and i'm also going to put two on my vertical so i can get 80 so i can unlock pretty much all the contact dunk animations except the elite because it's a little too costly all right so 48 standing dunk is decent if i were to remake this build i'll probably you know try and, and finesse the builder a little bit so that i can get at least 72 but it's okay for the purpose of this video and for the purpose of this build honestly 48 is perfect for standing dunk all right 77 on the post control is very important you get unplockable this is basically because we got the 85 ball handle all right and then you get hook specialist on bronze you get the post fade phenom post powerhouse i haven't really tried this but the post up poet is definitely good i've definitely been able to get a couple of fakes in the post with that the shooting is nothing crazy but i want to address this because the reason why well, this build video is, is coming out this late is because of the stuff that happened with the patch three if you guys didn't watch my previous video it's gonna be somewhere here on the screen so i got an 85 mid-range shot but i can't tell you how many times i missed those even though i time it right i have my jump shot that i'm gonna share with you guys at the end of this video along with the six and it's just not working the way i want all of that because since the patch i just cannot shoot anymore like i was able to shoot around 60 percent and then it dropped all the way to 50 or something because of the patch that they released a couple weeks ago it's becoming a trend but anyway that's a topic for another video 85 gives us dead eye in theory it's still very good for you to shoot and set shot specialist on silver shifty shooter on bronze listen it's not anything crazy but it's decent enough right so and the thing is with the 76 three-pointer you're actually able to hit shots if you find a good jump shot let me know the one that i use is not bad you have to just like play around a little bit and then it's jared culver so you guys already know that base has been tampered with yeah this is decent enough for you to shoot 71 free throw because it's not really important this year uh 75 on the pass accuracy however is definitely something that i i should probably try and have a bit more on more of my builds because you really get a lot of good things especially break starter on silver and you also get dimer i really do not care about versatile visionary i have that on my other build this it's just not worth it all right so 85 ball handle yes yes you could go 86 but again my build is basically a cap breaker version so i put 85 here because when i hit out of three i should be able to just put one here
here to get ankle assassin on silver that's what i'm gonna do and one of the things that i really wanted to mention while we're on, on this topic is the takeover to get ankle assassin on bronze here handles for days on bronze a strong handle on gold very slept on badge we already spoke about unpluckable but the takeovers take a look at this takeover right here the mixtape takeover oh my god i'm gonna have to make a video on this because the blur takeover ability is insane in this game i just blow past people every single time i have this badge on like it's just crazy to me i mean it, it's very slept on very underrated badge i hope people would actually talk about this a bit more another video probably will come out on that 75 speed with ball is going to give us lightning lunch definitely a good badge especially when you want to you want to run past your defender so it's definitely worth it now the defense is very solid on this build so we got a 66 interior defense for off ball pest and it's decent enough the fact that you're 6 8 is amazing really because you can get a lot of stops in the paint coupled with that you get paint patroller oh my god i max plus one this badge on my build and i promise you on silver bro the amount of stops i get in the paint are just ridiculous it's it's insane at 6 8 i i even like keep people from making wide open dunks just the fact that i'm there near the basket they're missing it's insane all right so perimeter defense this is one thing that you need to have 85 is the sweet spot to me you don't need to go higher than that because higher perimeter defense this year does not really matter i promise you that i have a build with 94 you no know, and it does not really matter all right so you get challenger and silver on ball menace you get pick dodger you get immovable enforcer as well so pretty much all the defensive badges silver and then you also get 85 steel which is great interceptor out on gold glove and silver i have interceptor on, on hall of fame with the max plus one as well it's pretty good bro like that's that's definitely something you want to have on your build and block also high flying denier on silver so i get 78 for the block rating and high flying denier is amazing you guys can see in the background on the defensive uh highlights i promise you this build is insane and if you guys are actually interested in a long gameplay with this build i'll drop that in a couple days just let me know where you want to see this build performing is it going to be in a rack or is it going to be a proving grounds or the 1v1 court i have everything even in the in the 2v2 in a park so i got you i got you guys covered so just let me know so 78 is very good get the high flying and iron silver paint patroller like we said earlier and also bogo stick is actually very good it's a very good badge and then also for this is the one thing that sets this build apart the offensive rebound and that's why you will be matched up at the power forward most of the time and i promise you this build is ridiculous like the putbacks are so much fun like they brought the fun back into this game for me mostly because of the rebound chaser on silver and the box out beast i just go crazy on the putbacks like come on just just look at these clips it's ridiculous if you don't box me out properly or if you're not stronger than me you're done i'm gonna be getting the offensive board and kill you and i got 70 on the defensive rebounding it's not that bad because you got rebound chaser and then if you're smart don't do the stupid thing that i did so you could basically max plus one your rebound chaser and get this to gold and if you do that trust me you're gonna be snagging like crazy because you're six eight long arms it's gonna be perfect all right so the physicals and it's nothing crazy you guys already probably seen everything so 82 on speed a 76 on agility so that we can get all the badges that i mentioned you know the perimeter defense category and then we also have 82 strength for physical finisher which is definitely good enough we also get gold strong handle and if you could use one of your cap breakers on brick wall it would absolutely be something that i would do because it'll give you 83 strength instead of 82 like i do have right now and then when you do that it's going to give you brick wall on silver and i think it's also going to give you let's see if you put two you're going to get straw handle on hall of fame so those are things to think about when you're using the cap breaker version like i have here all right 72 on the vert like i said but it could be 80 once i have the cap breakers and this is the build we don't get shades of lebron james but it doesn't matter it definitely plays like lebron james and we get the name wing stopper this is one of the best probably the most fun builds you can use for rec randoms 5v5 even 1v1 because you have high ball handle and you have high perimeter defense enough like you could absolutely dominate every single game mode in this game so yeah that's my version of the build now for those who stuck around for those who stuck around let me show you a version that i was referring to earlier so i'm going to show you a version that has contact dunks off rip for that 
we need to take down our steel to 73 and we take 89 on uh on driving dunk we could probably go and add 86 for the ball handle and if you're smart you could go 80 right away you can get 80 right away for vertical so this is another version that i would probably rock with if i had to remake this and because lebron james is a great pass so you could probably just put in to 76 here to add more for this i would probably go on post control why can i go up in and get no bad is 86 on a ball handle actually unlocks ankle assassin but yeah i think that's pretty much it you can go just 50 on the standing dunk yeah so this is another version of the build that is definitely good enough it is going to help you oh you get shades of jimmy butler here so this is a version that you can use when you're running solo and i promise you it is absolutely worth it there you go man you guys let me know if you enjoy this build if it's actually something that you might make in the future as a bonus like i mentioned earlier i'm going to show you guys what my what my six and the jump shot are all right so let's start with the jump shot the jump shot is definitely decent so i got jared culver ray allen and i have kobe bryant as the release the reason for that is kobe bryant is absolutely smooth you could see the release even though 2k tempered with this again uh what i would recommend you do is play around between push and release like i did here in order for you to get the preferred visual cue for you so yeah that's that's what i would advise you guys do now for my gameplay six here they are it's nothing crazy i use you know zion dribble style like everybody uh my signature size up is Kawhi. regular breakdown is penny i mean pretty much everything that everybody used the only thing that i'm i'm kind of using differently from most people is maybe the zach levine crossover it actually puts me forward like it's it's a little odd but hey that's that's pretty much it you guys let me know what you think of this build is it a w is it an l let me know know in the comments down below and as usual man y'all y'all make sure to stay gucci and i'll catch y'all in the next video i'm out peace